Dental's Home Shop. I'm Scott. I'm Tara. And today we are going to make a new handle for my client screwdriver. This is what we used to call um, back in the day when I did electrical work. We called it a Beat Boy. That's just a nickname, stupid nickname. Um, and we use this for beating on everything. We'd always take one of these big screwdrivers and what I've done in the past, before that, see it's all distorted and bent, the plastic's all messed up where we drove the tab, the tang of the screwdriver further up into the plastic. What I've done in the past, before I've done this, that I learned afterwards, is you drill it, drill it out, and then you put a bolt in there, and uh, run it down until it hits, and then you beat on the end of the bolt, and you leave it a little bit proud, and eventually when it mushrooms up a little bit, it's perfectly... And then it transfers the energy straight to the blade of the screwdriver. Uh, why don't electricians? Why don't electric elect chickens carry a? Uh, elect chickens uh, carry a um, chisel in their belt? I can't. I can't answer that. Uh, I just. I don't know why we didn't. But anyway, I'm gonna make that out of this piece of aluminum. That's right here. And uh, so. Let's get started. Here, follow me down. The work's down here. First thing we got to do is we got to uh, turn on the pan to cool the motor. So y'all going to do a little bit of pan. And I got to shave this off very so carefully because it's sticking way out. So, well, the first thing I need to do is I need to measure it and see just how long, where's the rubber grip? Oh, uh, there it is. Alright, we need to see just how long this is sitting on the table. Three and a quarter. Alright, so we're going to go a little bit proud of three and a quarter. Oh, this is a lot proud of three and a quarter. So I guess we're just going to go a little bit longer because I'm not going to cut that much off. So the screwdriver will be, we'll, we'll take it down to four inches. It'll be three quarters of an inch longer than what it was when it was made. Alright. I gotta get a new slide for this, uh, a new compound. Well, I got I need a new slide because it's messed up, and then I need a new compound because it's broken. Right, you want to do it? Well, let me do this. This is sticking out too much. When I get the tailstock in it, you can do it. It'll get hung and flip it right out of the jaw if you don't do it right. And it can still do it on me. Not because you're you. you. Because I'd rather take the pipe hitting me in the face than you getting hit in the face. Alright, we got we need to go down just a tiny bit. You always want to make sure you back off far enough so when you turn this loose, it doesn't. Alright, we need to go down a tiny bit, push that down, and then tighten it up. I'm watching the hole on the end of the pipe. I mean I'm watching the uh center. And if you don't take that center completely off. What will happen is when you try to center drill it, it dances all over the place. Ah, it's still leaving that center. And we need to just take it down a little bit more. I think it needs, I think we need to go down just a tad bit more. I don't know what to tell you.
Oh, there's another modification to the quill we can do where you make it where it's a longer quill and it's in that book over there. Oop, we don't need to go back that far. I should have sent this to, to Steven. The whole thing? Yeah, he could have fit it a little bit tighter. He fit it for what he did what he copied what he cut what was there. Yeah, see, when you get it right and you take your center drill up there to it, it doesn't, shouldn't dance all around it. You just go straight in there and start drilling. The uh, big one or the small one? The big one. We're going, we need, we're going to get us a live center for too long, too. Now, this is going to get drilled out, so I'm going to go ahead and run this in there a little ways. Yeah, that right now. Yes, I always turn the lathe off because you can jerk into the uh, you can jerk into the thing. Now it's spinning. Yeah, we're gonna run it out a little bit. All right. Right now we're going to uh, wait a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm trying to think. But right, what we have to do is we have to get this. Uh, this has the uh, grip in it, okay? Now I'm not gonna try to cut group channels down the faces. I don't have any way of milling those in. Or else I would just line it up and mill it in, it would be perfect. So this is going to be stretched up over the uh, grip. Where's our one inch piece right here? Here's a piece of one inch, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just curious if this can be stretched over it without, uh, yes, that might work. What are you thinking? What I'm thinking is uh, if we stretch it out far enough, the little pieces might flatten out. So right now what I'm going to do is um, I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to get in there. I don't think we can run this out far enough. Nope. But wait a minute, hold on. We can run it out there to stabilize it. Now we're off of the we're off of the uh lock, okay? We're off the lock. But I got the quill lock locked. So hopefully it won't uh well. Alright. There we go. All right, so what I want to do is I just want to taper this. You've seen me taper it before. Take 
a little bit, tiny bit off. Look, kept it working like that. It's a funny box of stuff that I've had. I don't know what that is. It's a black thing and then a little hook that goes on it and a little bump screw on the bottom. Something like that. No. It'll cut up here though. The blade cuts a little paper. Alright, let me see it for a minute. I right, can stop it right there. Alright. No. to the quill. But there's a uh in that paperwork you come with that Mike sent Mike Ford sent with a lead or yeah, sent with us, not with the lead but sent with us, sent to us. However you want to look at it or word it. Yeah, there's a 
there's um let's see uh should have had all this ready change uh changing the hand screw see this is the one that we want to do right here this one right here where you actually put a, a larger dial on the cross slide and a larger dial and a handle on the on the uh compound and this right here is you he's using that for uh making the graduations on there so. oh and there's, there's there's something else in here uh wait a minute, let me find it uh I'm, I'm 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 actually gonna do this i'm gonna do that too but i'm gonna do this mighty well i don't know if i can do it tonight uh, oh, here it is. Here it is. It's a uh, uh, an adjustable bushing for the lamp for the for the lantern style tool post. You 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 turn this piece of tube down and you thread the outside, and it slides down over the lantern over the tool post, and this nut goes down here at the bottom, and you have to slot this. And so what happens is when you uh need to raise your your tool bit up you just turn this nut up and run it up and when you tighten it down you tighten down against this nut and down against those threads and it pushes down against the cross i mean across the compound that is going to be neat new, new style tool post but there's the picture right there that one right there all right well, there we go uh, well, right now what we're doing is, if, if I had a milling machine, I would mill the grooves in here. But I don't have a milling machine. I'd mill the grooves in here that would fit the grip on the on the handlebar. I mean, on the thing. So right now what we have to do is we have to uh, figure out if we're going to be able to drill. Yeah, so right now, right now we have to. Uh, ah, wait a minute. Get it right. Oh, and there's also a quill adjustment for making the quill longer. Not quite sure how that works. I know how making something longer works. That's not what I meant. I'm going to get enough flat from that and this. Alright. So, now we need the big drill and we're already center drilled. Now we're going to take our time on this because, uh, I'm not sure that we're going to be able to drill it because all of my bits are full length bits and we are all ready. I have a little short stubby drill bit. You see it? I paint it. It's hard. Let me see what size it is. I'm sure it's bigger than the shank by a whopping 10,000 times. All right, well, hopefully we can get it in there. All right, so let's see what size the, uh, yep, let's see what size the shaft is. You want to, I'll let you read it. See that friction knob right there, Tara? This one's on the face of it instead of on the end. Alright, so you just you run it down and you lightly now you gotta pay attention. If this hangs up, you don't wanna crank you keep cranking it. So you just I mean so you, you lock it. You lock it. Alright, now where are let's show let's show them. Alright. So where are we? We're at three. Alright, at three, and we're past three. And so now we go over here, 10, 10 11, so 11, we're 311,000. 311,000. So now, let's check it with our cheap little, uh, my little, 
Um, I like yours because yours comes on. Cheap or not, it comes on. You turn it on, move it, it comes on. 310. Only one thousand dollars. Well, actually, half a thousand. It's 310. Yeah. It's three. It's three one on five. Point three one on five. About a half a thousand dollars. So that that that's plenty. All right. So now we need to find. Uh, 310, where's our little chart? Right here. Oh, right here. All right, 310. Now, we'll use we'll use our Andy, Andy. Bar Z Industrial Decimal Equivalent Chart. 310? 310. Uh, three, 3125 is 5 sixteenths. So, so we, can, we can take a 1964 drill bit and try that. So that's 296. And then we can always drill it out a little bit. Now you gotta remember this blade doesn't hold still, so we go small and then we can go up in size later. But we can't we can't put the material back inside of it. No, sir, that's right. Alright, so what I say five oh we don't have a uh, wait a minute, yeah, we, do. we might have it up here in this one. I thought we made room for everything. We got all them shells and we're still Pass the stuff on one thing. Right, what was this measurement? 40? Uh, 1964. 1964. Right here. Which one? Uh, right there, I think. Measure it. Well, I will because I get it out. It's a bright idea to put these things in there so close. Two ninety two, two ninety six. Close enough. Close enough. All right. So now let's shove her in the chuck. If you open the chuck all the way up, I almost. Uh, you got to be kidding me, really? That's, that's it. Oh wait a minute. Stupid me. What? We can move the uh, beef back in the chuck now. We're through milling it. I put it turning it. Yeah. Hold on, move your hand, move your hand. Turn the lathe on. All right. Whoa, whoa, stop, what was that? I think it was this. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, you're not going Turn it on. There we go. Oh. Oh. All right. There we go. Now we're cooking with grease. Why do they put the nut on the back? This is something that you move all the time. Can't, can't, can't we just turn it around? Move it back a little bit. Uh, no, because, uh, uh, I don't think you can. No, whoever makes this part is crazy. That right there is threaded in there. I think this quill is made wrong. Not, not, Stephen didn't make it wrong, his part wrong. Today is Sunday. Hi. You sure? I'm sure. All right. So thanks for watching on this late lazy Sunday. That's making a little uh, handle grip or uh, handle grip screwdriver. Screwdriver handle, handle for a screwdriver. For a screwdriver. And yes, we are missing the little bit that goes at the bottom. Right there, the very tiny bit that goes down there. We are missing that. But that's fine. Uh, that that's all fine and dandy. And so, yeah, like and subscribe. Don't forget. Leave a comment down below. Thumbs up. And all that good jazz. Uh, and if I can do it. You can do it. See ya.
so slow it's just tiny because it sprang it sprung over. That's why they call it a spring pass. It's still cutting because this bit and everything just leaned over the cross light compound just leaned over. And now it's sitting there. And we're having to come right. We couldn't get it to cut straight. We tried to cut it with a hacksaw. That was useless. And I thought, well, we're sitting there in front of a lathe. Put it on a drill bit. Chuck it up in a lathe and turn it. That way I can get it to center or right angle to the parallel. I mean, right angle to the, to the center line. All right, turn the light off. Let's see how that looks. Yes, that's nice and square edges. It's straight all the way across. And so now we're going to do something like turn it back on. All right, so now we're going to come in. And I'm going to slowly crank in as I move in. And all that's for so that it doesn't touch in the center. Mixing it up. Mixing it up. Yep, just mixing up some epoxy. If I use this screwdriver, I'd do something different. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to not use it, but I'm just saying I don't use it like I used to. So that's going to slide all the way up and push in right there. And now what we have to do is come over here and fill this crater here. Okay, can you get the light? Okay. How's that? Better. I need you to run and get me a flashlight. I'm getting hard to see real quick. Alright, so let's see if I can get this thing to go back together. That's a promising start. Promising. And that where I'm working. Well, already done started turning. Right, you can get me a rag. Get copyrighted in print there, but that video just got taken down. <laughs> it's 
Oh, whoops. I thought I forgot we were using this, um, lantern corn. I thought we were using mine. I was going to make it bigger. Alright, we're going to put another hose clamp further up. That's too big. Way too big. A five sixteen cent driver out of the bag down on the floor. It's yellow. Yellow stripe on the side of the handle. Where'd the groove go? There, yeah, see it squished up out of the groove. Hmm. I just hope it doesn't lock on to the uh hose clamp. Yeah, I hope it doesn't lock on to the hose clamp where I can't get it off. I don't think it will have a problem peeling it off. Nah. Alright, so we'll let that we'll let that chooch for two days. Yeah. Yeah. I can't go any tighter. You probably break it. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty, there it is. And that looks just like here, except for this part up here is not plastic anymore. It's metal. This part up here is aluminum. I mean, aluminum. Okay, big aluminum plug in the end of it. Well, the whole thing's aluminum all the way down to here. And then we cut this old broken. Uh, right there. Right there. Right where? Oh, over by the vise will be a helpful hit. And then we cut this broken handle off. It's all swedged, swelled up right there where we get beat on. And then that would have been up here, like that. Yeah. But it's not oops. Well, it's a little bit more up there. So anyway, there you go. There you go. So hopefully all that epoxy will uh hold. Yes, sir. And um if it really bugs me I'll drive a uh I'll drill and tap that through the thick part right here and put a little tiny tiny screw in there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bye.